M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the N76. Today we're going to show you the device transmitting and receiving APRS GPS without using the HT app or a computer, so standalone. And we've got the FT5D here to do tests. The first thing we need to do is create the right channel frequency, which is in the UK 144800. I think in the USA it's 144390. So, first thing is to create a channel, press the green button like so, press again, channel, and then you can edit the channel you've got. So press edit, you can choose a different channel just by going right and left with the arrow, but we're gonna edit the one we've already got. Press edit, like so, and then you can give it a name at the top. And as you go down, you can change the frequency. The way you change the frequency is you can type the frequency, go one, four, four, and then eight, all the zeros. That's it, and then you can go down, change anything else, and when you're done, just click save. So we've got the right channel, and go back, back, back to the original screen, and it says APRS. Now we'll go to our settings, so we'll go menu, and let's start off with the signaling settings. We're gonna press the green button, and we're not gonna send any messages, although we can actually send messages, so. No, there's no settings there. Then we'll go down one to radio settings, uh, dual watch. We've actually, oh, there it goes. We've actually put it into single watch at the moment because I think I just think it's easier. But it will dual watch, and you'll have A and B showing on the screen. Scan. So not much to change there. And the tone. We turned off the tones. So and the squelch level is at one at the moment. TX time limit. Tail tail elimination. Not really the important ones. Digital mute. If you tick that, you won't hear that noise that we just heard there. That was quite annoying. Anyway, let me just go back. Now we're gonna to go to general settings, green. We're gonna go down one to signaling settings. And I put in M0FXB Hamtech as my sort of ID. Send ID and send GPS, I've ticked that. Okay, that's all we've done there. Make sure GPS is ticked as well. Uh, so go back, then we'll go down to APRS settings, press the green button and press the green again. And here you can put in your call sign. And you can use the keys here and you go right and left. I know it's really small, but there you go right and left, up and down. And uh, when you've selected the, the correct one, then you can just press okay. And that's in. Path down one, I've just left it at wide two. So press the green. And there it is there, wide two. Haven't selected anything else, but notice that it has got S gate on there as well. Um, and then passcode, you do need to have an APRS passcode. There are loads of sites that give you this. Just Google APRS passcode and there'll be loads of sites that say, put your call sign here. You do need to have a ham radio call sign uh, and it'll just give you a number. And I've, I've got a number of course, and I've entered my passcode, which is, I don't have to enter it now, it's already in there. So, uh, and it says correct. And the, way, the reason it says correct is because when I was in the app, it searched and made sure it was correct. So then back out, now down to digital mode. Select, um, so we've enabled. Then share location, if I change that to just say, say two minutes, select. Um, and then it will, you'll see it will start transmitting soon. Digital channel, I've just selected current, so it's gonna use the channel that, that's on your screen. Format APRS, okay, that's fine. I'm going to go back. Now you do need to have a GPS lock for this to work. If you press to the right, if you haven't got a GPS lock, it just won't transmit. As you press to the right, you'll see the stations that you've received, but also messages. There's a message there from me. So we go, we back out. Let me try send message. We'll go green button, down one, signaling. Send message, and we got to type it. So we just go H, then um, go across with the right arrow, I, and then just click OK, and it will just send it. And so then, providing you've got a GPS lock, mind, if you go F menu, back out there, back out, F menu, and obviously the APRS is turned on on the FT5 go to message, and then just, like so. Uh, oh, 
and they get and you get your message and it's just um you saw they just automatically received my last transmission so f then we'll go that was the message for m and then we'll go back if we go to station list f menu station list f menu there it is there there's our message that come from the vgc n76 so it's completely doable we'll have a play let me know how you get on we've got just double check all my other settings radio settings we've done that general we've got signal aprs settings let's go down to oh yeah digital mode let's show you that so enable share location yeah i think we've shown you all the settings i want to make sure that we have Call sign, select, get your call sign in there. You know, APRS call sign. I just deleted mine by that by accident. I'll just quickly get it in there again. Press to the right and you get to see your, your GPS. Press menu, go down to signaling. You've got send message, you've got call as well. And check. Nearby people. You've got quite a few little functions you can tinker around with. And it will act as an eye gate as well with the right settings. So that means it will repeat what it's receiving. It will repeat the APRS that it's receiving. Thanks for watching my videos on the N76. Bye for now.